the big difference for us is when our competitors were offshoring, Brian had already made a large investment in equipment that was redeployable and had the foresight to get into automation, buying robots and lining them up with our redeployed equipment while our competitors are going offshore kind of gave us an advantage. Robots are so versatile and so flexible, we've been able to very cost effectively recommission them to do different jobs. Today, things seem to be perking up with automation. At first, uh, people thought that they were going to lose their jobs, but in fact, they realize now that we have saved their jobs. I mean, we've seen jobs grow, and that's really important. Uh, not only for this community, but to keep the jobs in the state of Michigan as well. Now some of our customers are actually bringing product back from overseas. We now ship to China and grow a, a key customer we wanted to grow with and continue to grow that business. We have the ability, we have the technology with the use of the robots, the, the FANUC machine tools to, to be as competitive as, as anybody. In the, in the global market today, uh, the machines, the robots, the cutting tools, it costs the same everywhere in the world. It's how you take that technology, apply it, and uh, having one operator running six, seven machines, two, three robots, it really is a, a strong benefit to the bottom line cost for our customers. Quality second to none, first time every time. I think the future for EMP looks very bright. So just being so flexible and nimble allows us to adapt to changes in the marketplace so quickly. I think that's going to continue to pay off for us more and more into the future. Living through the phase of going from totally manual manufacturing into the automation phase. Um, if you have any apprehension, leave it at apprehension because it works.